The question is, do you guys actually enjoy when we do taste tests? Because some people like watching other people eat online. At the same time, we need videos when we need videos because we make videos every single day. So when we're scraping the bottom of the barrel, we're like, hey, you know what? We don't have a lot of time. We've got this thing. Let's make a video. This isn't the bottom of the barrel. This is the back of the fridge. Oh. <laughs> You're actually pretty on point there, but we've got to do fact of the day first page number 190 fact number one when trying out a new pen 97% of people write their own name first. Oh, I do not do that. Yeah, I'm not one of those 97. I'm one of the special 3% You do the scribble. Yeah, I just make random random shapes or I write my famous line, which I've written all throughout the time I've been alive, which is a cat sat on a mat. Oh, that's a classic. <laughs> <laughs> See, there's books back here. They actually might be littered with his terrible handwriting and that phrase. I'm not even joking. You could pick a page, bam, it's right there. I remember being in school for my GCSEs and not knowing what to write for this physics exam question and the invigilator walking by is looking around at all the students and some people are writing furiously, working out calculations. I'm sitting there like, I have no clue what's going on in this exam. I'm gonna fail. And I don't want to let the teachers onto that because they don't know I'm gonna fail as of yet, a lot of them. So I just start writing down a cat sat on a mat <laughs> in a physics paper. A cat sat on a mat. A cat, like 62 times. And then for a second, the teacher looks over and actually reads what I'm writing. And I go, ah, oh, they read it. And then I think to myself, wait, that means they read it. They know I'm failing. They think you're having a breakdown. <laughs> It's so funny in that moment you think, oh, I need to write something because they're just looking at me. And then it's, oh, wow, you look even more stupid now. But we've got to do that thing called a taste test. Taste test. Prime. Ice pop flavor. Now, supposedly this one actually has a distinct flavor. Ice pop. You know those ice lollies that used to come, that used to be red, white, and blue with the different flavors, the rockets? Okay. That's supposed to be the flavor of this. Huh. You know, I've never tasted one of those. No? No. At kids' parties back in the day? No. 20 years ago when we were kids? No, no, no. Our mum would be like, you're, you're picking the other options Yeah, they'd here. say no. you're getting just a regular milk ice cream. Yeah, that yeah. was our option as you're kids. You're not getting it the was ice one of those. There's too I many E it. numbers and stuff. Exactly. They wouldn't be allowing us to have that stuff. But we've got to taste it. Okay. Um, Uh-oh. I'm not sure about that. The smell is a little bit off. Not as bad as some of the other smells, but not good. Oh, no. Not good. Oh no, no! Oh, that's not it. That's not it, boys. Oh god, it keeps going. Um, all right. Okay. You know, I have to be fair. It tastes better than it smells. It smells. It smells like cleaning fluid. You would know better than me because I don't do that stuff. Okay, I didn't have that type of response. I wasn't really repulsed by it. Don't like that one. I'm not enjoying that. Not enthused by that flavour. It tastes like... like... What's the flavour that's coming through, predominantly? Like a mouthwash. Okay. That's, you know, survived the apocalypse. It's 20 years later. Because the flavour I got was cherry. Oh, yeah. I got like a cherry oh. drop type of flavour. It's somewhere between a, a lemon refresher mm -hmm. and a cherry drop. Right. Something has gone wrong. Okay, so <laughs> apparently the flavour is meant to be cherry, lime and blue raspberry. Oh, oh. That's who, what the flavour mix is. Who put that together? Logan Paul himself. <laughs> I don't know. It's not as good as the blue raspberry, okay? That one was actually okay. All these other flavours are being bad, but I'd have to say this is the second best one no. because it doesn't have a really salty taste and it doesn't have that overly saccharine taste. Even though it tastes bad, it doesn't have those overt negatives, you're, which is why I wouldn't drink it. You're correct. It has a sour taste. Yeah. I drink that and I think I'm going to get a sore throat. I feel I like that. I might get sick because of that lime or the cherry. Yeah, They've added some cherry, sort of maybe yeah. citric acid mm -hmm. to give it that tang. Mm -hmm. You drink too much of that, it's going to become unpalatable really quickly. I personally already find it unpalatable. Right. No, that's not for me. That's that's last. Maybe second that's last. That's last. <laughs> last no, no, last. that strawberry watermelon was atrocious. No, that one was No, no. Meta Moon was also bad. Yeah. The lime, not great. 
Blue Raspberry, good. Yeah. Six, six and a half out of ten. This is sitting in that five range. No, this is... That's a two. That's a two! So this is definitely the worst for you. I okay, that's it's interesting. Really not good. You know what, guys? People have different tastes. People have different likes. But Logan Paul, KSI, again, once more, improve your shit. And do better because overall, your batting average, very, very poor. You got four flops and one good one. And that's it.